All right, so y'all know I live in South Texas. It's always hot out here. I always have projects going on. And the other day, I just went to Harbor Freight and I placed an order for one of the 5,000s. We're gonna try one of those out, do a video on it. That's gonna be coming to you soon. While I was in there, I saw that they had the Predator 1400. Now my thought process is on this is a lot of times I'm out in the driveway. I'm out somewhere where there's not necessarily power. I don't feel like dragging out an extension cord and you know, all those things. So you end up just sweating it out, right? You crawl under the truck, you're doing whatever you're doing. It's hot outside and it's like, man, I really wish I had a fan. And even when we go to events, stuff like that, you know, no power, you know, you're outdoors. And, um, you know, I was sitting there looking at this little Predator 1400 and I know the Predator generators are pretty quiet. So I was like, I'm gonna buy one of those. The only thing I really plan to run with it is a fan. Um, and I want it to be very portable. And so let me turn this around. Let me show you this generator and uh, let's talk about it. Okay, so primarily this is what's gonna be hooked up to this generator most of the time. When we go somewhere, we do anything. It is just, I mean, we're 103, it is hot. I mean, we're looking at 103 to 105 here in South Texas. And, you know, just doing any little project, a fan makes it much better. Um, and one of the main reasons I like this gen set is it's quiet for one, but it's super light. I mean, it's 35 pounds. Um, you know, the 2000 watt generators are nice too, and they're quiet, but you know, they're getting more to that 50, 60 pound range. You know, I want something that I can grab, just carry it outside, pull, pull it one time, start it right up. It's easy, right? And uh, you don't really need a big generator or a fan. I could probably run three fans that size with this generator no problem um, but being this inverter it's only loaded at probably 20 30 percent with one fan um, you know so it's idled down it's just a nice gen set um i've been pleasantly surprised with it i ran it yesterday hooked it up and all those things um, it does have you can see you got two plugs right here just a reset breaker eco throttle and also what's really cool is it comes with the ground clips um, i mean not the ground clips the 12 volt power so if you do have a dead battery on something or you need to charge your 12 volt battery, you can plug that in. It's got a set of alligator clips, charge your battery. And also if you need to charge your phones or anything, you got two USB ports right here. And then uh, you can parallel this little generator if you want. I don't really see the reason to, but anyway, let me get this thing on the ground. Let's get it started up. We'll turn the fan on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I've got fuel. I've got oil in it already. Like I said, we've been running it. Um, I'm going to try to start it with one hand. Let's see here if I can hold this. Super quiet little gen set. Of course, that's with the eco throttle on. And it levels out a little bit when you put a load on it. But that's with the eco throttle off. But you know, you take that, you get a little 10 foot extension cord for your fan. or even a 15 foot if you want to move the generator a little bit further out from where you're at. All right, I'm gonna turn the fan on, just kind of show you how it loads up. That's it. That's a pretty nice setup that I can literally just grab out of my shop wherever I'm working and hook that up. You know, I've even got one of those little baby porta cools. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a second fan. Let's see if it'll pull two of these smaller fans. Right. There you go. Get idled up just a little bit. Running two fans, no problem. Alright, so just to show its capability, we've got two fans running on it right now. And then we've got the porta cool out. Turn the pump on. Put the fan on high. So is this little generator capable of keeping you cool for a 35 pound unit? I'd say 100%. For the price point, for a little inverter generator, you can literally pick up, throw on the bed of your truck. I think it's worth its money. So 
so for the last shot i just wanted to kind of get you a little distance from it you know if you put it might be 15 feet you know between us and the generator plus getting it off the concrete where it echoes off the concrete you know the grass they're definitely quieter um you know here at the fan you can't even hear it turn the fan on You pretty much just have the noise of the fan at 15 feet. So I'd like to thank you for watching the video today on the Predator 1400. If it helped you in any way, please hit that like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video.